Hey everyone, Flo here and welcome back to my couch for another Pokemon video and today I'm going to show you how I ship and package my eBay sales. Now, um, if you're curious about selling on eBay, I do have another video that walks you through how I list my Pokemon cards. It's really easy to get you started and um, shows you how to list up to 30 every hour. Um, but that's in my other video. Today I'm just showing you how I package and ship. So let's get started. The first, so I shared in my previous video, if I'm selling a card that is um, under $15, I do free shipping on my eBay listing and then I send it in a plain white envelope. So the first method I'm showing you is how to ship in a plain white envelope. So. Here I have my muck that I listed. I went and got it from my inventory. It was number 131. I saw that the buyer needed um, card 131. I grabbed it. I brought it over here. It's already in a penny sleeve. I go ahead and put it in a top loader, push it all the way down. It's gonna be hard to, I'm gonna tap this like this to get it seated. It's hard to do it on my play mat, but there you can see it's seated all the way at the bottom. I grab just a normal piece of scotch tape. Don't use packing tape for this because it is a pain in the butt to open these top loaders when you use packing tape. I'll put it on the top just like that and I barely pinch the top and I fold this over. You want this to be, I don't know if you can tell by that, but it's, it's, um, it's skinny right here. So the card won't slide to the end and get stuck in the tape. It keeps the card at the bottom because it, it pinches this top closed. This is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to do it. So now that I have my card like this, I will grab a normal piece of card stock. You can get like a hundred sheets for, I don't know, five bucks, or maybe it's even cheaper than that. Um, I fold this in thirds, like so. Wow, that wasn't exact thirds, but I'll open it up. I'll put the card right here. I'll tape it so it doesn't slide around in shipping. So it's right in the middle of this little pocket. I'll write a little note to the buyer that says like, thank you so much. Here we go. This you don't just want to send this without paper around it. You always want to put paper or cardstock around your card to keep it from getting indented. Next up, I take my plain white envelope. I hate licking envelopes, so this is one that you can peel the thing off. I'll stick this. Why am I struggling so much? All right, I stick my little trifold in there, peel it off, close it. There you go, that's your envelope. Now, when you, when you click on your order info, you'll click print shipping label, but don't print a shipping label. Just get their name and address that they have there and you will address the card with that information, write your return address, and now, just one sec, I'll be right back. Now don't use a normal stamp. Well, do use a normal stamp, but don't only use a normal stamp. This is a normal forever stamp that you put on for a normal letter you're sending, but you also want to include an additional ounce stamp. These, I think cost 15 cents a stamp, but you'll put it on there. It lets you send your letters um, that weigh even more. So if you're, if you're shipping out like three cards in a single plain wood envelope, you can bump it up, it can weigh a little more, they'll still um, accept it. But the big thing about the additional ounce stamps is they won't run it through their machine, which bends cards and can rip the envelope and toss the card out and it can get lost. The additional ounce makes it so that they hand check them and they won't get bent. From my understanding, I always run, I always send them with additional ounce stamps. It's only 15 cents and it makes sure that it won't get sent out, um, sent through the machine. 
So there you go. Drop it off in your mailbox, hand it to your postman, um, you're good to go. So this next method I'm gonna show you, we'll take our muck out. This next method that I'm gonna show you is for cards that um, are over $15. This is how I send them. So we have our muck. Sorry, let me just move stuff. All right, we have our muck. Let's pretend we sold it for 20 bucks. We want a little extra protection for our muck. So for this, we're gonna grab a bubble mailer. This is, I got these off Amazon. I think they were 50 cents each. I have two pieces of cardboard that I just recycled from a Unified Minds box. And I have this clear little poly bag for this to sit into. So I'll put the muck inside the poly bag. Like that, I'll rip that off, fold it over like that, and then I'll sandwich it in between the two cardboards and I'll tape every side of this. I'm not gonna do it now because I haven't sold this muck yet and I'm not shipping it out like this, but I'll, I'll tape the top, the sides, and the bottom. I'll slip this into my, my bubble mailer like so, so it'll be inside of there. Seal the bubble mailer, print the label, tape it on, you're good to go. It's super easy. Now, this will be sent um, first class, so if you go to the post office to get a label, say, can I send this out first class, it'll be more expensive if you do that. The cheapest way to do it is print straight from eBay. Um, when you sell, it'll say um, print shipping label. You click on that, click first class, enter the dimensions, four by eight or whatever this bubble mailer is. I have it saved as a template. And then um, I just type in four ounces. Usually these only weigh two ounces, but just to be safe, I type in four ounces. It's the same price as if you send it out at two ounces. Um, and it usually comes out to be 320 or 340. And it's super cheap. It has tracking um, and yeah, it's, it's, the way to do it if your card's worth over $15. One more thing that I'm gonna mention is the importance of sending it first class with a label versus in a plain white envelope. That You cannot track a plain white envelope. So if, um, if someone orders a $20 card and I send it in a plain white envelope, they can claim that they never got the card and there's no way for you to prove that you actually sent it. So eBay will side in the buyer's favor. The buyer will get refunded by you. Even if they got the card, they can say they didn't and they will, they will be refunded. So when you use plain white envelope, you're kind of just going on the buyer's merit that they're not gonna screw you over. Um, so that's why over $15, I'm like, I don't want someone to take advantage of me. I'm sending it out first class. I'm gonna make the buyer pay for the shipping uh, it's a win-win. They get a little higher quality shipping and you don't have to worry about your package being lost or um, them stealing a card from you or anything like that. So with all that being said, I hope this video was informative. I hope it helps you shipping out orders in the future and good luck with your own sales. Um, it's definitely a whole nother beast and it's not for everyone, but if it is for you, man, have fun at it. It's, it's a sweet other aspect to Pokemon that you can sell cards that you're not using and use that money on more product or just use that money as profit and do whatever you want with it. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.